Hello Spirits, so with the recent teaser we got for Sonic Prime, this being the recent sneak peek with Big's updated design and voice. After finding out how Sega, well, treats their characters, I noticed differences immediately. So without further ado... <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. What was the most cherished name in gaming history is now the most controversial. With his games getting worse, characters being written horribly, and they're grasping on the straws for ideas. <laughs> oh, but oh boy, that's not even the worst thing to happen to the Sonic franchise. Even before shit hit the fan, was how the characters were changed, like, uh, drastically. But the new Sonic Prime teaser shows us a new side to Big. It makes him seem less like an idiot and more like a gentle giant. But this isn't new. This is how he was from the start. So could this be hope for the other characters? Well, let's find out. What do I mean? Well, I will use Tails as an example. In Sonic Adventure 1, he was known as a scared kid who depends solely on Sonic and through the game, he would be separated from so. And with that, he would gain more confident, enough to defeat Eggman on his own. And in the second game, he continues to act confident. But with that, after each game, he would develop differently. And none were very good, might I add. He had multiple personas. He would become sarcastic, useless, and finally, a scared kid once more. I only touched upon the surface, but you should get the idea. But, on the off chance you don't, I highly advise you to watch the PJ Show's analysis on Tails. Alright, so he's in the thumbnail, I've mentioned him in the opening. So, how has he changed? How does he factor? He's just a dumbass character who's slow, carefree and whatnot. But that's not who he was. Is. Since the start, B has been labelled as the idiot character, the gentle giant if you will. He's by no means an idiot, and a few details are to blame for this. As we've seen in the game he debuted in, he is a carefree fisher... Uh, cat. Oh, I get why he fish. But due to this carefree life, this has caused many issues that I, I don't actually think bother him. His overweight issue, which is being carefree, and his social interaction skills. Now, Big is seen as a slow idiot because that's how he speaks. But why he speaks like that is because he only has one friend, Froggy. However, he doesn't talk. But later on, Big has a role in another game, Sonic Heroes, which he does have friends, Cream, Amy, and other characters. So he isn't an idiot by any means. The voice and eyes have just made us think he is. So the question remains, how does Sonic Prime handle his character? Well, with the small teaser we have, here's a comparison between the voices. Him again. Whoa. Uh, Sorry, Big. Sorry, Froggy. Can't chat. Gotta go help our friends. No problem, Sonic. Notice anything? He speaks normally. And surprisingly, Sega actually updated his design. Well, basically just the eyes, but you get the idea. So now he doesn't have a design that makes him look like an idiot. His character appears to be fixed, where he's a carefree, friendly guy. <laughs> As we've seen, the TV shows are never canon to the games. Hell, the games aren't even canon to the games. But what this means for the characters is promise. Well, in the shows at least. Now, Sonic Prime is going to be a multiverse show, so it's going to have multiple incarnations of your favourite characters. But it will also feature the main cast you already know, or hopefully most anyways, and that is supported by the big clip. But there is a chance they're not the actual characters you'd want to see. <laughs> Alright, so to end this off, something to take in is that do not get excited. While I am hopeful, it's not really a whole lot, if I'm being honest. And that's because this is Sega after all. They've had a few controversies already with the recent Sonic content, which was uh, once hyped, so yeah. I wouldn't get excited, especially with Frontiers needing further polishing. Like, a lot.